I'm just saying, because he's just sitting there like, because apparently she did a 60 minute interview, um, a minute uh, interview with 60 minutes. And he's gone, really? 60 minutes? This is what you're doing? This is who you're. Ah, yeah. I, it's just the people who are talking about. um about dictators and 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 fascists are the ones who are the fascists. I'm sorry, but that is what is happening. You're calling for people to not have their voices heard and for people to not be able to speak the truth whether you like it or not. Right. All right. So, this is going to be a hard segue. I don't know how to take this into what we're going to be talking about here today. So, uh Let's just jump into the next topic then. Ladies and gentlemen, as Davey freezes up and tries to hide behind his mic, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, meet the new indoctrination center for your children. Let's go ahead. We didn't assign a gender at birth. I'm letting this little person be who they want to be. It is an experiment. What they're doing is unprecedented. On 60 Minutes. You can't tell what your gender is by looking at your body. What are some of the biggest challenges? Strangers in the street have had quite a strong response. Why are you so obsessed? Why do you need to know? We're not trying to eliminate gender. It's really helping kids find their own path to it. Sunday on 9 and 9 Now. We... Yeah. I couldn't watch. I couldn't watch. I've got a lot. I've got a lot of words that I, I cannot say on YouTube about this. By the way, people who at 60 Minutes mentioned can reply. Uh, oh, yeah. I love when they do that. That's my favorite. They People put up the stuff and only allow people who they mentioned to reply to them. That's what I, I love that. They have no problem being retweeted and, and, and said something about. I honestly believe that all these people just go on Twitter, say whatever they want, and then just don't even look at it. They don't even care. Of course. Of course. They, they just say whatever they want, and then they go, oh, well. It's, it, now, it's, here's the thing. If you speak out against it, they're definitely going to use that. And then you get hit articles where they mentioned, oh, just because uh, you're tired of this shit, you're fed up, you are pissed, and you're a white ring extremist, you're a terrorist, ladies and gentlemen. But uh, I do have a wireless headset on. Tell me what you think about this, brother. I'll be right back. I got to go to the bathroom. And what I think about what this about the babies, the babies, all the it's 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 propaganda. It's propaganda for since the beginning of time. We have known what biology says. Who is a man? Who is a woman? Who is a who is a boy? Who is a girl? Now all of a sudden, you got you can't you can't figure it out by biology, <laughs> by what is is and i love how they changed them. this is what what aggravates me about the people on that extremist side is they go well why are you asking what's in between my legs i didn't say that i didn't ask you what's in between your legs i don't understand <laughs> if you're a boy or a girl you have long hair you have womanly features and i just want to make sure i don't know whether or not to be attracted to you. That's <laughs> that's that's ninety nine percent of the people who want to know. They want to know if they can or can't be looking at you. Okay, but I mean, with it, that, it's, it's, just oh, all right. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. This baby shit. Like sixty minutes. <clears throat> one of the most heralded media and cultural institutions is now pushing this. On kids, they're highlighting this, ladies and gentlemen. They're going to I, okay. This is tomorrow night. They're going to play this up as if this is something that everybody could do because it's going to save a life. Well, Tim Pool makes a great the milk toast fence sitter 
makes a great point. The more the older we get and our generation fades out of these higher level CEO jobs, the more this next generation becomes the CEOs and yep. they will push their their narrative and what they want on it. And I'm sorry. But your child it cannot be a baby. That is you. You are the parent. You're the one pushing this. Yes. The child Jazz doesn't know what it is. Jennings. Look up into Jazz oh Jennings. Oh my God. Oh. This was 20 years ago that her mother pushed her into that situation. Now, I will give her respect and say her because that's what she she wants to be. Not it's anymore. Never been her fault. And now she's like, my whole life has been a lie. What am I? She's having an existential crisis because she's like, ah, I don't know what's going on anymore. And that was pushed on her because of her mother. These children, you're sitting there trying to tell me that a child at birth knows their gender identity. Seriously? Because this it is, takes months before a child can actually discern what they are even looking at. Because when they open their eyes, it's all a black and white blur. But yet listen, they somehow know their gender identity. I'm going to have to stop you there, sir, because you're just giving the left more, 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 more power for pro-choice. <laughs> I just, it, it, you're absolutely right. And the jazz dude, please, I, I implore everybody to please look up jazz Jennings clips. On YouTube, there is a clip of the mother saying this on television. She says, there's some nights I want to wake Jazz up and force the dilator inside of her. This is well, a mother. She spent thousands of dollars trans, trans, making her a, a trans person. And that child had no control over it. From two years old before that person was self-aware to look in the mirror and say, hey, that reflection is me. That was forced on jazz. Before she she even knew who she was. And now, like you said, she's having an existential crisis. And one, and God forbid something, she does something stupid. It's going to be everybody else's fault. It's going to be everybody else's. It's the right wing politicians making these 400 laws that once again, I love how they say that people who follow Trump are sheep, yet they just keep continually pushing out the same speaking points, the same narrative, 400 laws. Have you looked into the laws? Did you see what the law said? Oh, Tennessee was was the was Tennessee's fault for passing these these laws. The, the the words transgender child should never come out of a person's mouth. And I don't care. I don't care. A transgender child should not. I mean, I just mush mouthed it. But transgender child should never come out of a person's mouth. I don't care. 64 to 95%. And I guarantee you that range will shrink. In time, 64 to 95% of all children that grow up experiencing gender dysphoria grow out of it. That means that 6% that is left go on to be people like uh, Blair White. I know we bring her up a lot. I know that's like a, a right-wing person to, to discuss. Buck Angel. Nicole they Powers. To, the, yes. They go on to... They don't want to be in that situation. They don't want to be there. The only reason we throw out these names is because they put themselves in that situation. They're the people that we can actually talk about because they're outspoken. Most of these people who go through gender dysphoria throughout their life don't even want anybody to know. And it's not because it's a, a stigma. It's because something they deal with themselves. It's their own fight. But yet because of all this, shit, we have put this front row and everybody's talking about it. And now all these people who go through this feel alienated. 
by the people who play it up, like Dylan Mulvaney. By the people on on uh, on TikTok who who just because they want to feel a certain way or get likes or or views or whatever. These people are taking front stage and they ain't even what they say they are. And yet this is pushed into your child's brain. So your child wants to cut their nuts off because they like to play with a Barbie instead of a G.I. Joe. Or just like I did as a kid. Wear your mother's high heels. I did that too. There's a picture of me in them. Yeah, I got them. Have your sister just like dress you up and put makeup on you because you're having fun with your sister. Now you're transgender. You mean you mean this this person right here? Hold on, let me see if I can uh... kiss me. Why will nobody kiss me, Dylan Mulvaney? Yeah, what? Oh Why will nobody kiss me, Dylan Mulvaney? Man to girl transition has won her TikTok fame, riches and allies in the White House but left her lonely and undateable. Maybe because you're not a woman and you're spitting in the face of every woman pretending to be a woman because you're playing a character that you've dug so deep into you can't get your ass out now. Yeah. Because that's what you want, right? That's what... This is child abuse and the parents should be in prison. Jazz Jennings was groomed. Simple as that. Uh, as morbid as it sounds, it would not be surprising if at all if he ended up being the Dexter, the next Dexter, David Reimer. Oh, yeah, the mur- Yeah, he was a serial killer dude. Yeah, but this is this, um, this is this is what he does. She, I don't even know it. This is what it does because look, it's talked about being a girl for X amount of days, a girl. Not a woman, because Dylan Mulvaney is not a under eighteen year old. Just, just not too long ago, three hundred and sixty five days of being a girl. Now, mind you, I will say this every time Bill, Dylan Mulvaney is brought up. Mind you, when this started, this son of a bitch said, "I identify as a girl, not as a woman, but as a girl," because. I never had the chance to grow up as a female. Now, this son of a bitch also said that I have a a sleepover bag that I have bought. I'm ready to be invited to sleepovers for other little girls. Deleted videos that you can't find on TikTok. I wish to God I would have saved that shit. And I will take that to the grave. I guarantee you somebody out there save those videos. This mother wants to be invited to a kid's little sleepover party not too long after starting their transition to know what it feels like to be a young child. I built Neverland. Never, never. Guys, this is... Look, there is a, a thing in a, in a movie. Um, what is it? I, I think it's undefeated. It's a Jet Li movie. The saying is, get them while they're young, and the possibilities are endless. Okay? In the, it, it rings true for all of that. If you take a child at a young age, take them from everything that would be considered normal, socially, or whatever, you can make them to be whatever the f- you want them to be whether it be a monster whether it be another gandhi you can make them whoever they want to be because of their raising and this is how we are raising our children now to believe that this is okay from birth mind you remember that whole um what was that? That that the, the gay choir thing? We're coming for your kids. You remember oh, that? Yeah. That was not too long ago. Yeah, I think we played that on one of our one of our first shows. If they cannot kill them in the womb from birth, they will convince them to cut off their body parts. If they cannot do that, as Nashville has shown, 
they will unalive them. Take that into perspective. Well, if they can't get them in the womb, they will turn them into something that will eventually do that, or they will get rid of them, or they will make yes. it so that way they can't procreate. They are trying to make your kids sterile. By the way, just I just uh, I was just on the main page of um, the Daily Mail to try to see, and um, at least one dead, three hospitalized after gunman opens fire at Trader Joe's parking lot in California. Two suspects in custody after massive yeah, manhunt. Show that, show that, show that. Okay, hold on. When did this happen? Uh, it seems like uh, any comments. I don't, I don't see a time on this. Let's see. If I click it. Uh, 7.49. I hate these pop-ups. Okay, so this is today. Yeah. Trader Joe's shooting suspect and two male getaway drivers surrendered following massive manhunt after one person was gunned down and three other hospitalized in California parking lots. Okay, so I got, I, I got a, I got a question. I got I got a question. Um what? uh does California have any gun laws? Amazing amount of gun laws, yes. Oh, okay, okay. Uh does California have red flag laws? I believe so. Okay, okay, okay. Um so uh oh, does does California uh uh have uh, an assault weapon ban? Yes. Okay. I'm just asking. Just questions. But if a woman and a man are... I mean, is this... Oh, sorry. Custody after a gunman opened fire in a busy parking lot outside of California Trader Joe's, leaving at least one dead and three injured. Police said the man called a friend to pick him up. After reportedly fleeing the scene, ditching his car and hiding under a tree while he waited for them. Who hides under a tree? What are you a fucking leprechaun? How the fuck do you hide under a tree? I can understand <laughs> a bush. This motherfucker sitting in a park, like taking a nap. Is is that a thing? <laughs> he just he just, you know, pretend to be a homeless guy sleeping. The man is believed to have jumped into a red Corolla being driven by a woman before at least five police uh vehicles create a barricade and stop the pair. Uh, is this the, is that it? But yeah, uh, I guess we were talking about that because of the, uh, the, the gun laws or something. Or... No, I just, I, I just was, I was trying to find the something to see if I could find the Dylan Mulvaney thing. Cause I, I'm pretty sure um the daily mail reported on it and I was going to the daily mail to search, but I couldn't find their search thing. And that was the first thing that popped up. And I was just like, ah. uh, so yeah, no, yeah, but, red uh, flag laws work, ladies and gentlemen. Banning wait. all guns is going to work, ladies and gentlemen. I see why this is being reported. What? I, I see why. Look at that. Oh, that's the right skin color. So is that. Oh. White. Okay. I get it. I That's get why I get it. I get it. That's why it's being reported. And you know, you ever noticed that? Oh, not to mention it's a woman now. Guess what, ladies and gentlemen? I I, I do want to before we roll off into the the Rumble only exclusive. I do want to point this out, and I'm going to say this until y'all figure this the fuck out. Okay, ladies, this third wave feminism. Sh let's take this all into account here. You demonize straight white men. Because they're the bane of your existence. They hold you back. They oppress you and everything. You tell them they can't speak. Okay. They need to listen to you. Okay. We started listening. And then the Roe versus Wade thing happened. You tell us no uterus, no opinion. Okay. We sat back. We listened. After that gets overturned, then you tell straight white men that you need to fight with you. Hold up. You told us no uterus, no opinion. Well, if you're not going to stand with us, you're not a man. You're a piece of shit. Okay. Hold up. We're, we're kind of lost in this situation because you said we can't have an opinion on any of this. 
well, this transgender comes along. Now men can be women. And and that's heralded. Straight white men were the ones that were saying, especially in this country, straight white men were the ones in, in this country that were saying, um, hold up. Men can't be women. They can't get pregnant. Women can't be men. There's a problem with that. Why the fuck are you letting naked men in your spaces? And you demonized us for that. You called us bigots for that. You went after every bit of us for that. And now, now you're telling us that men need to stand up for you again. Now, I will take up this banner for everybody that I know, everybody that I care about, every single child out there, because they have never made these mistakes. They have yet to live out their lives. But I'm not taking it up because you want me to. I'm taking it up for those children. You have created the patriarchy you said you fought against for so damn long that now your handmaid's tale was your own creation. They are taking everything from you simply because, well, you heralded men trying to be women. You held it up like that was something to f do, like it was a win for you as they systematically took everything from you and continue to do so. You created your own patriarchy. You created your own handmaid's tale. And the only reason I'm standing the f up and I'm saying something is because the next generation, these little kids that are born, these little kids that died in Nashville don't deserve it. They never made that f choice for themselves.